this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Zotac Zbox ID80 Plus Mini PC and we are looking at the UEFI setup utility as you can see this is I have a, I have mouse control this is a UEFI not the traditional BIOS which is the the white black and blue usually uh, color themed one you see is very that was very rudimentary looking this one's a UEFI even has the custom Zotac background but the layout is similar to the traditional BIOS if you're not familiar with it here on the first tab we have the main tab it shows you the BIOS information uh, the last build date and time we have the uh, the CPU information this one's using the Intel Atom D2700 at 2.13 gigahertz is a dual core Atom processor based on the Cedar Trail uh, an M10 Express chipset by Intel and here's your memory information you can have the uh, what memory frequency it's running at it's actually running at 1066 megahertz DDR3 and we have a single DIMM uh, populated with uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 SO DIMM memory also have the hard drive in there you have the Samsung HM321H uh, 320 gigabyte 400 RPM uh, hard drive and here at the bottom you can uh, the yellow ones you can actually these are the values that you can change the white ones are the uh, values that are just uh, di they're being displayed and the next tab is the X settings where you can uh, more advanced uh, uh, setting for uh, more knowledgeable users you can adjust the DRAM voltage control at default you can adjust it uh, there's no other voltages you can adjust uh, in here except for the DRAM uh, there's no overclocking options for the CPU and here we have the advanced settings where you can uh, various options, various uh, peripherals, you can uh, change the onboard device configuration for example you can see their PCI Express port and what would you say look including the HD audio the HDD storage configuration uh, it's configured as IDE by default and the CPU configuration uh, so the white ones are the information and the yellow ones are the ones you can adjust so you can disable hyper threading this one uh, depending on your uh, of course this one comes with a D2700 which is, supports hyper threading so you can enable or disable that or execute disable bit and limit CPU ID maximum which is disabled by default and the USB configuration here you can see the legacy USB support enabled by default you see hands off disabled USB transfer time device reset timeout device power up and the last one is Intel Fast Flash Timer. You can enable or disable IFFS support. And the next tab is the PC Health tab. At the top part, the white ones indicate the temperature and the voltages. You can see that the CPU fan speed is running at 3,600 and around 3,688 or 3,700 RPM. And that sounds quite high, but as you can see, if you I actually, as you can hear, it is very, very quiet. I'm sitting right beside the Zotac Zbox ID80, and even if it's running at the at 3,700 RPMs, you can barely hear it at all. You can see the temperature is 65 degrees Celsius right now for the CPU, and at the bottom, the yellow yellow values you can adjust. You can adjust the smart fan options, either manual mode or smart fan mode, which is the default, and change the start temperature 30 degrees, start fan duty, and uh, which which temperature the fan will start spinning. And you have the highest fan duty. You can limit it. So if you you are you're operating this as an HDP PC, you don't want the fan to to spin up spin up too much, even though it it gets hotter. Uh, you can adjust it here with the highest fan duty. You can lower that. And default, of course, is 80%, as you can see there. And the next tab is the power management tab, where you can access the hibernation options, ACPI sleep state options, restore AC power loss options, and the logo when you boot. Yeah, you can just enable or disable that. RTC the uh, RTC wake up setting and the PPM configuration which is a nested menu here at the bottom and the next one is the boot uh, tab and here you can set, set the setup prompt timeout security settings full screen logo CSM 16 module uh, vault, vault version is just indicated there it's not uh, adjustable you can have the gate 820 active uh, option optional ROM Force BIOS by default and the boot option priorities here you can adjust again as mentioned you only have one hard drive installed so uh, you, can, you can see which hard drive it's, uh, it's, it's at now even if, if you actually have a USB plug in there you should detect that 
automatically and you can adjust it here although by default it is uh, you can, it actually boots I when I install Windows in here it immediately booted to the USB without booting to the drive and uh, the last one is the save and exit you have more options to uh, save options discard option uh, restore defaults if you may have made a mistake with sending and just discard completely and uh, that pretty much covers it and to read the rest of the review especially the benchmarks and the overview you can just go to www.hitechlegion.com and uh, if you have questions or comments you can leave it on our uh, YouTube page at youtube.com slash hitechlegion we can read more of our reviews or you can uh, work, uh, much if it's more convenient for you you can contact us on Twitter or Facebook at uh, type in HDL reviews in Facebook or just type in high tech legion and you can leave a message for us and we'll try to reply. Thanks for watching and uh, as I mentioned you can read the rest of our reviews at www.hitechlegion.com and goodbye.